Scott. Hi everyone and welcome to 5 Minute Fusion, a Who's That Anime podcast where Colin and myself, Steve, will take the journey through episodes of Dragon Ball, Dragon Ball Z, Dragon Ball GT, God Help Us, Dragon Ball Super and beyond. We're going to do them all in a quick 5 minute summary, as best as we can. Colin, are you ready to continue this journey with me? Yes. Excellent. I'm going to start, as always, by giving a brief synopsis of today's episode, episode 76, True Colours of the Masked Man. Gohan repeatedly slams Goku in against the floor. Meanwhile, Emperor Pilaf is trying out his new power suit, and Chu <laughs> and Mai spy from a satellite on Goku. It turns out Pilaf has the final Dragon Ball and has jammed the Dragon Radar. After they soon discovered Goku's weak point is his tail, Pilaf, Shu, and Mai sets off to the fortune teller Baba's palace to squeeze Goku's tail for defeat and steal his last six Dragon Balls. Back at the fortune teller Baba's place, palace, as Goku is still refusing to give up through the weakness of his tail, Gokan, Gohan is about to slam Goku one more time to kill his own grandson, much to the horror of Goku's friends. However, Goku's tail eventually rips off, just in the nick of time to avoid the final blow. Mm -hmm. Completely free from his weak point, but enraged at Gohan for pulling off his tail, Goku is about to fight back, but Gohan surrenders and reveals his face to Goku. Bulma retells her adventures with Goku. Gohan chooses to stay dead and vanishes after farewell. Baba reveals the exact location of the last Dragon Ball. Colin, what did you like about this episode? I liked the bit when uh, Pilaf, Emperor Pilaf is, uh, watching the sets and makes a comment about his tail doesn't go with his outfit. I was like, what? <laughs> of course, his tail doesn't go with that. That's, of course, it's his weak spot. There, there's a lot to like about this episode. Particularly, Pilaf is here. Pilaf is back. And he's brought mechs. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> um, I enjoyed uh, when there was a squirrel <laughs> above eating an apple. It threw the apple core into Pilaf's mouth. And he just went, hmm, refreshing. Yeah, he did, yeah. Uh, that, was, that was kind of amazing. Um, I did. <laughs> I love the fact that basically the episode starts. It's basically previously on smashing a child face first into the ground. <laughs> it's just going uh, uh, over and over and over. Um, we get to meet Gohan properly, which was nice. Mm -hmm. Um, I think there is a comment made as well where someone says, "Give up while you still have a face." All right. Yeah. Probably. Uh. I have a my favorite uh, quote from Pilaf, which was, "These robotic behemoths will assure my ascension to greatness." Yes, yeah. Uh, and and a final parting question from Gohan, which was, uh, "Does Goku still turn into a giant monster?" Yes, <laughs> and, <laughs> and he's like, "Oh no, I got rid of the moon, so we're good." Yeah, yeah. <laughs> um, what didn't you like about this episode? Uh, Pilaf's back. Oh come on, man! Pilaf's awesome. Yeah, he is, but he's back. It's like, oh man, yeah. brought him back. <laughs> I uh, I did like Gohan's quote. It's like, you know, I just want to go back to the afterlife. I have a lot of friends, and he just like whispers over and he goes, and most of them are brunettes. Yeah, yeah. And, <laughs> and Roshi's like, oh yeah, now we're talking. Set me up when I get there. <laughs> Ugh. Oh, Fucking hell. They're all the they're all the same. They're all. I don't know, fifty hundred years old. <laughs> uh, what do what do we now know? Did the oh no, that's a different that's different yeah that's a different one. Um, what we now know is um, Pilaf's back. He's got Max. Yep, and and uh, they're totally into spycraft now with satellites and shit. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> Um. Uh. Go yeah, you mentioned Goku's tail doesn't even go with his outfit. Yeah. Uh, I think that the interesting thing is like Roshi's uh, like we kind of get the idea is like Roshi believes that just people have to fight their red their dead relatives. It just has to happen. That yeah. felt like a thing he was just going for with that. And you're like, oh, okay. Like, I don't know that that had to happen, but I think, okay. I think it was more basically Gohan wanted to see how well he got on, and that's why he hid his face. You know, like all explained at the end. Oh yeah, yeah. Had to had to see him at hundred percent power. Yeah, and then so many bloody flashbacks again. 
Yeah. <laughs> with Boma just saying how much of a hero she actually is. Oh yeah, yeah, oh, yeah. They're totally lying to her teeth about everything. Not really oh. nice. <laughs> we have hit time up. That is the end of today's episode. We will be back next time to discuss more Dragon Ball. And until then, it's goodbye from me. Uh, goodbye from me. Bye, folks. Bye. Find them, Dragon Balls. Don't get them all.